today's video is sponsored by Eufy. And their X10 Pro Omni. This thing is unbelievable. It's amazing. It's Melanie's new favorite appliance. Oh it does it all. We've never felt this way about an appliance, been this excited about an, a new appliance in our home. This thing is obviously, you look at it, you know what it is. It's a, it's a robot vacuum cleaner. They've been on the market for many years. Eufy seems to have hit the right balance between vacuuming and mopping and the intelligence to do it all in a home that is truly lived in. We've had these before where it felt like it, it didn't, it couldn't live with you. It couldn't account for the fact that you leave things on your floor and you need, don't, you don't just need vacuuming, you need high power vacuuming, like 8,000 PA versus 4,000 PA, like the average vacuum that is on the market. And you need mopping too. That's Melanie's favorite feature. It is my favorite feature. And the amount, the little amount of water it takes to clean my floors is crazy. As soon as you pull it out of the box, it's going to have a feature that will want to map out your space. And we did that, it ran around the house very quickly, very and, quickly and used its technology to map out the entire home and it was ready to go. You have one tank that you fill with clean water. You have an empty tank where the dirty water goes and I can actually feel, you know, we've got some dirty water that can be emptied out. You've got the place where all of the, um, the dust and the dander and the dog hair and all that stuff, Gross hair, stuff. yeah, that you don't <laughs> want to so be careful pulling that out of there. But here's, here's the thing about this. It can run so many times. We, it can probably run four or five full times, which for us, we run it about once a week, which means we don't have to do a lot of, yeah. of maintenance. I thought when it came, frankly, that we were gonna be putting fresh water in every time. And it was gonna turn into a product that we just don't want to use. Yeah. But that's not the case. Like Melanie said, with the amount of water that you put in for one full tank up to the max line, it can mop our whole common area four times. And, and we're we have more tile than the average home. Our, because our hole downstairs is tile. The X10 Pro Omni does the hole downstairs four times on one tank. And here's the kicker. Melanie, what does it do when it, the X10 so, Pro comes it's home? Amazing. What, is, what does it do? It's so fun. So it actually dispenses all of the dirt into the filter. <laughs> and then it also then dispenses all the dirty water into the canister. For instance, you can tell it every 20 minutes, I want you to clean the mop heads and come yes. back and get fresh water and do the rest of the house. That way it's not using dirty water on the second half of your house. It's unbelievable, the number of features. We can't even tell you. It has AI sensing, object avoidance. It'll ask you, do you have a pet? And then it knows how to interact with pets. I mean, it's, it might scare your pet a little, but it's gonna stay away from your pet. It's really good at that. It's actually, honestly, it's actually quieter than a lot, than a lot of the other ones, right. for sure. And they have a deep cleaning program. Yes, program. Feature. It's amazing. We tried it last night. I had literally sticky stuff. We were doing a project and we had sticky stuff all over my floor. And I woke up this morning and I was like, wow, my steamer doesn't even get this clean. It doesn't. It doesn't. It was amazing. So it's, it's remarkable. And that's a real world, real case scenario. I was replacing our garbage disposal. And we were cleaning the fridge at the same time. And the whole kitchen, the floor was Floor's trashed. Gross. And we said, you know what? This is as Let's bad as it's gonna get. Test. Let's put it to work. And I was able to, in the app, tell it just the kitchen. I want you to clean twice, do a double cleaning. I want it to be a deep cleaning because you can set four types of, of, of uh, depth of cleaning. I want it to vacuum and mop. You can tell it for a particular cycle or schedule to only vacuum or only mop or to do both. I was able to tell it to do all of that. And it has a feature where it will actually get really right up against, mop right up against your floorboards, right up against your counters. You can tell it to stay away from them if you'd rather it do that or get right up against them. And we said, we want you to clean twice, deep clean. And like Melanie said, we came downstairs this morning and, and the it kitchen- was cleaner than what I do when I mop, when, when I steam, which the, is crazy. The kids actually said, and, and I'm not kidding you, this is, True. The kids said, it does better than us. We feel like we've been replaced. And I said, well, kids, you're, I guess you're blessed that you don't have to mop as often because that's one of their household chores. But they literally said that the Eufy X10 Pro did better than some human children. So, I mean, if you can't tell, we're actually truly excited about it. We hope you'll yeah. check it out. There is a link down in the description. This is obviously a sponsored video, but we're gonna, you're gonna see 
Eufy X10 Pro on me in our home regularly, yeah. doing its job nice and quiet, avoiding everything it needs to, because like I said, we can have a vacuum now and then. It's and so amazing. It's, it's just really amazing. It's great. actually a gift. Like, I'm, I'm really excited. So when we say thank you, Eufy, for sponsoring today's video, we really, 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 appreciate it. really, really mean it. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. And now on with that video. <laughs> hey, Zoo family. Thanks for joining us at our homeschool table. And we are doing something that we've never done as a homeschool family before. And we want to tell you about it. Because typically homeschool families don't have to do standardized testing. But our children are doing standardized testing. Kids, what's a standardized test? I don't know. They don't know. See, that's how unfamiliar they are with it. We did not rehearse that. They are literally unfamiliar with it. And so here's the thing. We're part of a program called PEP. What, what is that? Personalized Education Plan. And it, it's a state funding he, thing here in Florida. It's great. Um, some people use it to, as a voucher to go put your kids in public school or, or a private school. But the PEP program lets you use state funding towards homeschool expenses. The kicker is that your kids have to do a standardized test once a year. So they are back to the world of standardized testing. We figured that was a fair trade-off. And uh, hey, maybe they'll learn to be good test takers because of this. I don't know. I know to help Caleb because he's gonna he's a test taker and he's gonna be worried about the SAT here pretty soon. So we are doing some practice, Mom. Yes, right? some practice tests. For the what what test are they taking? They're taking the Stanford I Achievement don't. test. The no. Stanford Achievement test. When I was a little girl, mm. I taught. That's the test I took. And you went to private school. And I did go to private school. Okay. I took that every year. Okay, you took the Stanford. Stanford what? Stanford. 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 Wait, it's it's literally S A T. This isn't the S A T, is it? No. So there's an S A T and a Stanford Achievement Test. Yes. Sanford this, Achievement. Not Sanford. <laughs> we have we have a city called Sanford here in Orlando. It's not the Sanford Stanford Achievement Test. It's this. So they all have their prep book. They have. Wait, is this a Me prep too. book? Yes. This is a prep book, and they all have practice books where they can actually practice taking the test. And um, the only one of our kids who has ever done any kind of standardized testing is this child. He did the FSA. Uh, F, F no F S A two of them, them. F S A I thought right I don't know <laughs> she's like this is my test book this is her test book yes um, number no isn't it called the F cat I don't think it was the F cat I think it was F S A F S A is different F S A is different okay we don't know do we you took two tests though. Caleb did take the standardized test a couple times, so he kind of remembers what it's like. But, but this is like pre-COVID. Like, oh, that feels like a whole another lifetime. A whole another lifetime ago. So <laughs> definitely, it feels like starting okay. over in standardized sure. testing with the kids. Oh, but mom's going to be able to teach them. Um, we won't give bore you with with all the details, but that is just something that's on our kids' shoulders this year. It's just part of 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 homeschool now yeah. for us. It just so happens while they are preparing to. Um, take their own test and feeling the burden of, of all of that. We don't get to say, ha ha, you have to take a test because we have to take our own test. And it is the uh, doctoral dissertation defense for both of us. And it's happening this week. Lord and willing, I'll have a DR in front Dr. of me. Dr. Chandler? Dr. Chandler? Melanie. Huh? Dr. Mel. Dr. Mel? No. You're supposed like to, I'm supposed to go doctor and you're supposed to go doctor? Doctor? <laughs> Come on, we gotta practice this. So yes, it is. We haven't even thought about it. <laughs> it is it, it is Thursday, and by the time this video comes out, it might be today. It might that, be over. That we are defending. And then yeah. I'll do my little happy dance. That's exactly what she'll do. And the kids will not Literally be with us like in North Carolina, <laughs> so they will not have to be embarrassed by that. But Yay. it has been a long time coming. I have been in school for 14 years. Yeah. The last five have been in my PhD program. So you're in 14th grade? I am in grade no, 14. I'm in a 14th grader. It only uh, took me half the time to get a doctorate. Literally yeah, but, but half I the time. Two, I have two master's degrees oh, and two doctorates. Matter. So I'm doctor, doctor. <laughs> Logan, you said I'm in 14th grade. Actually, I was in 12th grade as a 12th grader in high school, and then I went to school 14 more years. So Caleb, how many years is that? Twenty-six. I'm in the twenty-sixth grade. How about that? Twenty-six. Is that even? Grade. Does it even go that high? 
it does not go that high. That's not a real thing. Because when you put it in those terms, it sounds crazy and sad and no one would ever do it. So we're just, we're really excited. Mom's a little nervous. I've done this before. I've done the dissertation defense before. So I feel really comfortable walking into it I've, I've, because I'm, I'm more familiar with what a defense yeah. is and how it works. Mom's got the jitters. And the unknowns. And the unknowns. Just the lack of sleep. <laughs> she has not been sleeping. She has yeah. been very worried. Uh, she's been reading her di her dissertation over and over and over again. Mine's 350 pages long. I'm not reading it ever again at this point. <laughs> I don't want to. Other people say they want to read it, and I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, are right. you crazy? You don't want to read chapter this. chapter five, that's fine. My chapter five is is the payoff chapter. So uh, yeah, and actually these, now that I think about it, eventually these dissertations, both of them will be available on a, for reading online, if you want to read it, on a service called ProQuest, which is what we have to upload our dissertations to after they're approved and, and we're approved yeah. for graduation so we actually will be able to share that with all of you um if like you really end of the year if at least you want to scroll through and see what it looks like and what we had to write what ourselves it's it's pretty cool pretty cool but that so that'll be happening thursday hopefully by the time this video comes out we are both done she has the title doctor she'll get the degree conferred in may at our yeah. graduation like which is title. coming up fast but i'll be able to call her doctor as of that day yeah. dr mel so you want to be dr mel so, i don't know Dr. Chandler. I haven't figured it out. You're already Dr. Chandler. Like that's none. That's Dr. like Chandler. no. Oh yeah. If someone says Dr. Chandler, we won't know who they're talking to. That's right. So you're Dr. Mel. See, I'll be Dr. Mike. Like, this is ridiculous. That problems. makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It is. It is. So anyway, we just shared all that to say we are doing our own type of testing this week. They are working on their own type of testing. In fact, uh, let's ask them some questions about how they feel about this. What grade are you in? Ninth grade. Seven, sixth, fourth, preschool. What is your favorite subject? Hmm. Math, science. Um, uh, math, math, coloring. What are you most worried about with these tests? whether I'll be able to finish it within the time limit. Everything. Not reading the word problems correctly and getting the answers wrong. I'm not sure. I really think I'm just gonna breeze a little bit right through it. Like at some points I might struggle. I'm not that nervous at all. Is there anything you're excited about with these tests? Nope. Mm -mm. No. No. No, not really. So here is what preparation looks like. This is Logan. Hi, Hi. Logan. And uh, it it look. This is a test prep book and he is answering the questions the sort of questions you can see this is reading vocabulary the questions that are likely to be on the test it's not a uh, practice test but it's the type of questions to expect same over here katie is going through reading comprehension skills so for her grade she's reading a, uh, a story answering questions about the story and it tells you when to stop which is uh, super cool. Just like the tests, just all like the, the tests, tests will have that way. So it is a kind of training them on how to do standardized testing. Daisy's over here, probably doing ABC mouse. She is doing ABC And mouse. you are doing reading vocabulary. And mm -hmm. Caleb, let me guess, math. Mm -hmm. Is it reading and math, mom? It's reading and math, and then there's a little bit of social studies and a little bit of science is what it says. Ooh. Oh, look at her flowers and her hair. It is ABC mouse. <laughs> she's got her avatar and she's learning an ABC mouse. So the purpose of these test books is only to get the kids comfortable with what the test looks like. Uh, their actual scores don't really have a whole, whole lot of weight this year because the program's so new. Mm -hmm. um, so that's great for us who we haven't standardized tests in at least five years was the last Caleb took. So yeah. for sure, like it's not gonna be as big of a deal. It will be interesting to see where people um, throughout the scale, like where, the, where they measure. Actually, Katie in language is actually above her grade Stop level. Girl. So nice. that's really exciting. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. You're above grade level, girl. Yeah. Shy over here. 
over here. For, for language. So, yeah. so this year, about... it's not as big of a deal. Next year, it will be a more bigger, of a bigger yeah. deal, right? So they kind of have a year to do practice testing. <laughs> right, right. So we're going to let them uh, do their practice. They probably do 30 to 60 minutes a day at this point, yeah. in addition to their normal homeschool workload. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to get them, get them steady in that. Cause it's, it's, it's really not like their grade level math and reading. It's, yeah. it's just different cause it's a standardized test. So things look different and the test expects it a little different. So it, it is a good quality. It is a good skill rather to be able to learn to be a good test taker. Some people are naturally good test takers and it's test taking is a, is a skill all its own. It yeah. really is. And it can make you, uh, it can prepare you rather for things like job interviews, right? Mm -hmm. And when your employer wants to give you some kind of pretest to get approved for hiring or things like, so, yeah. you know, there is, there are some good things that I think will be gained from this, but we're going to let them keep going at it for now. So we wanted to say thank you for watching today's video. Thanks Yuffie for sponsoring today's video. Seriously, yeah. that vacuum cleaner is a game changer. Yes, we actually game changer. we actually just yeah. stare at it. <laughs> it's my favorite appliance for sure. We just stare at it and going, did you see what it did? It's just, it's amazing as you can tell. So remember, link in the description to go check that out for yourself. But we'll say for now, goodbye Zoo family.